Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can easily fix, or at least temporarily mend, uh, your chain from falling off uh, on your go-kart. Now this particular go-kart is a Yerp Dog uh, 32, uh, uh, 3203 or 3202, I believe. Somewhere around that, they're pretty similar carts. But I just learned this, uh, I just learned this trick from somebody online on, uh, on a go-kart Facebook group. And he had a brilliant idea of how to fix um, of how to fix the chain from coming off. Now there's two ways which you can do it. I have it running right now, so I don't have to start it and pause the video. But the way that the thing you're supposed to do is it would be best to get an automatic chain tensioner down there, which you can pick up online. But those are a little bit of a hassle to install, and you got to wait for it to come in. Uh, and there's and I'm sure there's plenty of videos on this. But this is just a redneck invention of how to do it. So as you can see right here, I already strengthened the frame. Look at my fantastic welds. I welded along this, this, this whole process here, including the welder that I bought and all that crap helmet and whatever. Probably cost me about 250 bucks to do all this stuff. And I had some books played on, but that's another story. Even with that, it was better but the whole frame was still twisting to where the chain would come off and I didn't believe the guy when he said this would work. See this chain here on this shock, okay? What happens is, is that when the motor has power, it twists the frame that way. And then because it twists the frame that way, the chain comes looser and ends up coming off. Now I thought this would fix it, but that's not enough. Now, I suppose what I could do is I could maybe put a cross brace going from here to there, or here to there, or something like that. But that requires fabrication. Now, it'll take a little while. The easy way to do, what you're gonna wanna do, have it in the bed of the truck right now, just, just to show you guys. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna stand on the back so it compresses the spring. It's not comp so, like this. probably 400 strength or something like that, 400 pounds. Ignore the messy battery, we're gonna get that fixed. But what this does is it prevents the thing from twisting. Now you might be saying that makes no sense. This swing arm is completely independent from up here. Well, you're right about that, but it's not in a way. Because, let's see if I can give it a little bit of throttle. Might be a little hard to see. But look at the frame. You see that flex? Now that's even with the chain on. Even with that chain, it's still compressing. Now the thing is that these shocks have a lot of play in them. They're just basic eBay shocks. I don't know if more expensive ones would be better. They probably will be, but this is a good temporary solution that works. See if I give it power. Let me see if I can do this. Give it power. You get the point. I'm gonna burn out my torque converter belt. But you see how the whole thing torques like that. Now, watch that chain right there. Well, it's not doing much because I, uh, I already sat on this thing and stretched the chain as tight as I could. You see how this is flexing, but the chain is solid. Because the chain is solid, this can't flex like that, and it can't force this chain to come loose. So that's an awesome little trick I learned from someone online. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to drop a like. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put the gentleman's name down in the description who told me about this idea on Facebook. Uh, we're in a forum called Go Kart Buggy and ATV Builders on Facebook. Very nice group. So go on there and, uh, and go ahead and rig it up. And remember, it'll be fine. Thanks, guys.